Welcome to Tyrannies. Stabilize mode. Loiter mode. Auto mode. Return to launch activated. Guided mode. Manual. And this is not the plus. In order to install the six position encoder switch on the Tyrannis radio, not the Tyrannis Plus. First, we need to get the FR Sky installation instruction. And on the FR Sky site, the download section, we have the Tyrannis 9XT6 position encoder. We can download a PDF document that looks like this. And this is important because in the YouTube videos, it doesn't give you a clear indication of what the signal wire is or what the ground is and what the VCC wire is. It tells you here exactly what they are. The VCC is brown, the signal is yellow, and the ground is orange. If you get that reversed, the switch will reverse. And it will tell you how to install it inside the radio. Very important. One of the additional sites you need to go to is the OpenTX site and on the downloads portion you can get the OpenTX 2.0 branch. For me I installed the OpenTX 2.019 and it's worked uh, well. There are two YouTube videos that I found very helpful. One is Dennis Baldwin. I this one has information but not complete some missing pieces here but go through the video anyway this one is a lot better it's by R. Scott Page it has some of the gotchas for upgrading the firmware also how to use the companion software properly so you don't break your radio and if you do there's always a way around it Enter the radio menu and go through what Welcome you need to, to, do to make sure it works properly. Stabilize mode. I've set this up for a Sky Surfer APM uh, airplane model, which will be used for aerial videos. And first, let's go to the radio setup, which is a long press on the menu. And using the page key, scroll to some of the pages here on 4 of 8 you can see this is now OpenTX 2.019 used to be the stock version and moving forward we have go to 7 8 this is one of the more important uh, pages you need to go to this needs to be changed from pipe with the tent to multi-purpose multi -purpose or multi-position switch if you don't do that, it won't recognize the six to ten positions that you're going to put your flight modes on. And next, we're going to go to calibrate. Now, if you notice here in the calibrate screen, I have six under Loiter this. Mode. Auto mode. Return to launch activated. Guided mode. That means. Manual. I have six activated. positions already Auto identified mode. by the, uh, the radio after I calibrated it. That's important because when we go to the next step, you need those six positions in order to program the radio properly for the curve. Let's go to the correct radio or model setup page where you can set up your curve for the six position switch new page three this one we'll go back to and this is where you need to go to on the curves which is 813 press enter call this cb1 it's a standard curve with six points you can change this what's important here is to note the, the values on the y Number one is negative 90, number two is negative 40, number three is negative 20, 
4 is 10, 5 is 40, 6 is 60. Now, if you put all these values, you would see this graph. And this should be a, a guide. Post the video so that you can see what the values are. Negative 90, negative 40, negative 20, 10, 40, and 60. Now, to check what this actually means on the radio, you press the exit once. Sorry, twice. Then long press page. You go back to this curve servo. Servo, I'm sorry. And channel 5, which is the channel where you have your switch. So on the lowest setting, which is stable mode, you have a 141040 value. Second is 1296. Third is 1398. Turn to launch activated. Port is 1551. Guided mode. Fifth is 1705. Manual. And six is 1807. This is how you would check. When you have your curves properly set up and you've used your servo page to make sure the proper values are there, scroll back to the mixes, which is 6 over 13. Go down to your channel 5 and do the edit. You want to make your radio say the source is S2, which is the switch. Weight 100. And the curve would be a custom CB1. It's the curve that you created when you made the curve. That's the name. Exit out of there. Then go to the special functions. This is where you would make the radio call out the special tracks for your different flight modes. So SF1 would be S21. 21 actually to play a track and it will play APM stab stabilize now when I upgraded it didn't find the APM stab because it was called APM stabilize I believe and it was too long it did not like that so I had to go into the SD card and edit that particular line or file to say APM stab you do all six switches and the last one I just called manual exit and when that's done it should work properly and if you noticed on the Guide screen mode. itself to there's a Stabilize mode. bar over to the right that changes position oh, as you Auto change your Return switch which is a visual Manual. guide mode. to tell Return you to where you are Auto mode. Mode. Stabilize mode. to test if the 6 position encoder actually works I put an APM 2.5 light controller uh, attach it to a plywood with the receiver GPS and TDR radio for testing purposes so this is loaded with the 2.73 fly firmware from the APM site it's connected to my computer obviously and I'll turn on the welcome to Toronto's Toronto's radio Stabilize mode. And right now the two are communicating with this. And connect. Warning, no data for 522 seconds. Pulling out the information from the board. Disarmed. Okay, let's go to the initial setup and to the flight modes because we want to see 
the values versus the, the flight mode. Loiter mode. Auto mode. Return to launch activated. Guided mode. Manual. Guided mode. Return to launch activated. Auto mode. Loiter mode. Stabilize mode. Aside from the audio, there's the visual you can see the relative position of the switch and the small indicator here on the upper right hand corner of your Tyrannus radio again this is not a Tyrannus plus